In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a multi-story parking lot in Minecraft. Now, if you guys are new to the channel tool, we're here to help you build bigger and better. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want to see the episode where I build this one in my city world, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to that video. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. So here we are on my flat tutorial world and here is the multi-story car park or parking lot depending on where you are in the world. So this one is 101 blocks long, it is 61 blocks wide and 33 blocks high. Now if you guys want the inner dimensions that is these pillars that you can see here. That is 97 blocks long and 57 blocks wide. Now 33 blocks high I should note is not to the top of this block here but it's actually at the top of the stairwell. Okay, so nice and simple, we've got this little stairwell in there. I'll show you guys how to do that. What I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to do is all of these like little extras. If you want to put in like these nice crosses here, disabled spaces, the normal spaces, things like that, stairwell, uh, we'll go through that. And also the ramps that we've got going up, we've got two of those. I'll be showing you guys that as we go along. Now this is modular, so you guys can make it however long, however wide you want. Uh, you can make it into an L, you can make it into like a crazy, horseshoe type shape if you wanted to might be a bit uh, awkward to get around where your car is and uh, you'll you'll forget where you parked your car but let's be honest uh, that happens anyway so uh, you could do all that if you wanted to materials that you're going to need are polished andesite you're going to need light gray concrete iron bars spruce fence a block of iron an iron trap door and also guys do a little command i'm going to get rid of that uh, do a command and see if it works do slash give your name and then debug underscore stick if you've got that, what we can do is we can cycle through and we can whack that up. Um, if you can do that, it looks really cool with the iron bars on the outside of this. Just this little bit of detail. I just love it. So yeah, if we can do that, that is awesome. But if you can't, use another trapdoor. Uh, perhaps, you know, use the oak trapdoor, which has got the same texture. And we'll show through quite a lot of that. Uh, it will look, of course, slightly different, but that's not a problem. Uh, and also feel free to switch up the materials of these if you want to make it coloured, you know, you can have a coloured strip behind these iron trapdoors. That would kind of look kind of cool as well. Uh, mine's just boring, industrial, big, multi-storey. But, uh, you know, that's how it is. Right, so if you guys wanted to build this in a giant rectangle, again, we've got 101 blocks by 61 blocks, but you don't have to do that at all. Uh, what we're going to do, though, to start is we're going to have nine blocks. We're just going to be in by two diagonals if you're doing it in this box. I'm gonna have nine, okay? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's where you're polished and a site. Nine blocks in total. Then on the corners of these, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, like that. Now in between these, we're gonna alternate with your iron bar, then your spruce fence, iron bar, spruce fence, iron bar, spruce fence, iron bar. Now there should be a total of seven in, to uh, uh, like counting both of these. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gonna make that four high in total, so that should be the same as where you've gone with your uh, light gray concrete. And yes, I did that on purpose, so that it makes it a little bit easier, just with this first one. And then after that, you guys will be absolutely fine. There we go, so that's what you end up getting. What we're gonna do over the top of this is have light gray concrete going over, like that. And that is gonna be your first kind of floor. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm of course going to be using some world edit to make my life just a little bit easier. Uh, actually, we're gonna do the next bit first. Let's do the next bit first and then we'll be making my life easier, have on that. So we're gonna put another light gray concrete on top, like that. Then grab your block of iron and what you're gonna do with your iron is you're gonna have that going across like this and across like this. So it just goes out by one. Then on the top, we're gonna to go out by one. Then underneath, we're gonna go out uh, under by one as well like that there. Right on the corner, we're gonna have just two blocks of iron, and I've forgotten that we need this nice, that's the one, smooth quartz slab, okay? Let's do the corner now. So we're gonna have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, because we've already got that block there, okay? And then we're gonna have that one, two, three, four, and then iron, every other iron, okay? And then spruce fence, and this gap should be a total of seven, okay, between the pillars. Build that up to four high. Like that. Like that there. Put in your spruce fence as well. Build that up, build, build that up. There we go. Then with your, um, what's called light gray concrete, build that over the top. 
and build that over the top. Block of iron now. It's going to be just pulling across across those two like a concrete and also on top of this one right here and underneath as well like that. Now if you're smooth quartz slab we're going to have that on that one and on that one it just softens the corner a little bit uh, and just adds a little bit more interest I think you know it's one of those. Uh, then with your iron trap door now we're going to have that under but not on the pillars so where you, whenever you have a pillar don't put it on there it's the same on the top as well so put them there not on the pillars so there we go put that on there like that I'm pretty sure that's right yeah because we've got a pillar there and we've got a pillar there so let's do this underneath as well not on the pillars like that then what we're going to do is on these bits we're going to have the middle part of it going across but don't do it on the last ones like this. So we end up with like this here. They could actually have it like that. And this is where if you've got the debug stick, we can then just switch all of those ones so that they're right flat against the whole thing. Now, like I say, guys, if you haven't got a debug stick, not a problem at all. Uh, you know, just leave it. Or with, no, don't leave it. Put on um, put on instead a, uh, a different type of trapdoor. Oak will do or whatever you want. You know, it's totally up to you guys. Make it red. Make it... Kind of that weird warped green cyan color. <laughs> but there we go. So that's going to be your pattern for this. That is going to be your pattern, okay? So what we are going to do with this now is we're going to end up just moving this all the way over, I think. I think it's going to be the easiest thing to do. And I'm going to be using World Edit for this because, you know, magic is fantastic. Uh, and in fact, if I copy it from here, that'll be the right place to copy it from. Uh, or even better, right there. There we go eventually there we go so in terms of how many of these so these kind of gaps let's count the gaps okay so the gaps are going to be 12 this way so i'm going to do stack 12 all right so you can see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and i've gone over as you guys can see so let me, of course, because we've already got one, so I obviously stacked it 12 times, but I only need to stack it 11 because we've already got one. There, is, there should be 12, and if you've got it in this box, you should be straight from there. Again, it's, this is like up to you guys, all right? Now, I've forgotten to copy the uh, iron trap doors. Don't worry about that. I will sort that out in a second. And in terms of the width of this one right here, let's try and get this one right, at least. I'm going to go from right here, grab that, and this time I'm going to get this one right. So right to the, not there, there, right? What we're going to be is we're going to have a total of seven of these. So I'm going to stack it six times because now I can do math. So that's always good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that. And again, you should be in. So we can then do the same on all the way around that to give you guys a nice base. So pause this video, put some music on and get to it. So once you're done with that, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. All right, nice and, uh, well, relatively easy anyway. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to put in some pillars. You're going to need some bamboo planks, which is what I ended up using as this kind of like warning striping kind of thing. Some light grey concrete, uh, a polished andesite slab, smooth stone and pearlescent frog light. I know, pearlescent frog light. Why not? So I splash out a bit. So what we're going to do from the sides here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to the next one, put in two, build up your light gray concrete like this. It's going to be a pillar. All right. And then we're going to do the same again across here. And you're going to probably get the feel for what this is all about. These are just the internal, internal pillars that we've got going on. Now what we're going to do as well is we're then going to leave the middle part of it is not going to be there. Now I like to just line them up with these pillars because it's a lot easier. We're going to leave two of them and then have two here. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> five, like that. Do the same over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, three, four, five. This is going to be a two block gap. Now if you're wondering why there's going to be a two block gap, I will show you, okay? It's going to be a lot easier for me to show you than that. But um, you'll kind of get the idea as soon as you see it. So we've got the pillars right here. And then what we've got is this two block span right here. And that allows for us to have a nice way to drive around the carpet. You can see it goes around in this circuit here like this. Okay, so then you can go to an exit there because I've got an exit on that side. I've got them there. Or you can go the ramp 
as well. And that's all we're doing right now, okay? Just getting in the nice infrastructure for it. So let's do a whole row, and then I'm just gonna end up doing my magic on these, okay? So we're gonna go to here. Or uh, we're gonna go do two rows, should I say, because we've already done one. Like that. And then go over to here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. And then right over to here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So that is what you end up getting. Now, don't worry about the ramps yet. We will, like I say, do that later because it depends on where you guys want to do them. You can change your mind and do these uh, slightly differently if you wanted to. It wouldn't be a problem. So there we go. That's what you're going to end up getting like this. Uh, and of course, we could stack. I'm going to try and do it 11 times and that's going to delete that. So it's 10 times. I had a feeling that's going to be 10. I do this all the time, by the way, guys. I always do this. But that's the kind of thing you're going to get. So again, if you guys want to pause and do that, you can do. You know, that will get you your internal pillars. And that's the kind of look that we've got for it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is nice and easy, actually. Um, we're going to have smooth sandstone is going to be on this layer here. So you'll notice we've got these two blocks of the light gray concrete. Um, and we're going to have the floor up here. Now, I actually don't have light gray concrete powder on mine. My one is a mix. I actually went with stony materials. I went for very like poured concrete kind of a look. Um, so I've got you know stone in there. I've got andesite. I've got some light gray concrete in there. Um, but that's kind of it. It's quite scratchy. You know the the andesite makes it look a bit scratchy, and the light gray concrete well it looks like light areas on it. So if you guys did want to do that, you can do of course. Um, I'm going to do that actually because why not? Why not get this all done? So I'm going to just go down here. And we're going to go something like with our with our world edit. We've got one, which is our um, geez, first. Let's get onto this. All right, so let's do like ninety percent. Make one, and we'll do five percent. One colon five, which is andesite, and then we'll do five percent light grey concrete. Where is it? Concrete powder. There we go. Like that. So you could do something like that. That's not the mix that I had, obviously, because um, that's way too low in those other two. So maybe we up those to get those to 10%. And this is the thing, guys. It's totally up to you guys what you want to do with your world, what you want the, uh, what it looked like you could <coughs> do something like, um, you know, grey concrete or cyan. That would absolutely look fine. Right. So next we're going to do the kind of ceiling part of it. So we've already got that. We're going to go from here, this nice. Um, what's it called? The smooth stone. All right, so we're going to use that on that lower part of it, and we're going to plonk this in right here. Now I'm going to do all of it, okay? So I'm going to just do it with a world edit again. Sorry, guys, um, but um, this is the joy of world edit. Joy of mods allows you to do these fantastic things with them. All right, so we get to do this kind of stuff here. Now I notice it's quite dark in there, isn't it? Yeah, really quite dark in there. So what we're going to do is where we've got these pillars, we're going to have the polished andesite slab. We're going to have these just going across here. And you're just going to join them up, all right? Like that. And you're going to go around all of this here, like that. Now, if you're wondering what we do over on this side when we go across right to here, what we're also going to do is where we've got the outside pillar, we're going to bring that across as well. So we build this nice square pattern going all the way through our build. Now it's getting very dark on this side, so I'm going to have to put in some lights. So we are, of course, going to do that. There we go, put that in there. So that's what you end up getting. Your frog light, your pearlescent frog light. Uh, let's get this right here as well. That's going to help me line everything up. Your pearlescent frog light is going to go right dead in the middle of these like that, okay? So you're going to have three blocks either side of that, three blocks there, three blocks there. And you're going to put these in on every single one, okay? Every single one, you're going to go for that and get that all sorted and plonked in, all right? So nice and cool there, like that. There we go. Look at all these nice lights. Who would have known? Actually have it where it's relatively well lit. Um, now, the reason I've gone for just one light in these is it does spread out some nice light. You get these nice uh, spots here where you've got just... You can see the light going on, but it's not too bright. You know, that was one of the things that I wanted with this. I wanted it to feel uh, dark and <laughs> dingy as a build, you know, like like the real things are. They're not exactly the most well lit in the world. You can see what's going on, but uh, that's about it. So, guys, get onto that. Let's get all of this done, and then um, I will see you guys once you've caught up with that. And what you should have then is this nice big 
open area with all of the lights in, all of the pillars in as well. We're just going to jump right through this. So depending on how many floors you want to do with this one, and like I said, you can do as many or as little as you want. That's not a problem. Um, you know, for this one, I've got additionally, I've got this bottom floor. One, two, three. So like I said, in terms of floors, I've got one, two, three, four, five, because uh, the top floor is there as well. You could do the same if you wanted to. So if you like grey uh, car carpet, that's not right, <laughs> like grey concrete, go up with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, and seven. This will be on top of each of the pillars that you got down below. Same thing, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have those two going across the top, like this. And I'm just going to do a small section of this, because then I can let you guys just do as much as you want, like that. And then bring this across, and bring that across as well. And of course here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do those two as well, like this. Uh, you don't have to, of course, do it with the two on these inner parts, to be fair. Uh, you could actually, I'm thinking about it, yeah, you don't do it on the inner parts at all, just have that pillar going up. It's going to make it a lot easier. Um, just like we did before with our uh, smooth stone, well, first we'll do the polished andesite down the bottom here. That's just going to go to these sides, like that. Um, you can technically put it underneath here. I didn't on mine. Instead, like we did before, we're going to have those four blocks of iron, so one where it comes under like this. And one when it goes over as well, like that. So like I said, we'll do this small section so you guys can get building. Uh, on the side here, do those two with your nice iron. And then with your smooth quartz, just on the end here, do it like that. And then have the same thing over on this side. And same thing over here, you know, build all this up. It's all the same kind of thing. There we go, like that. And then again, with your iron trapdoors, we're going to have that under, but not where the pillar goes. So not onto that one. So you can see this like gap here. It's exactly the same. It's a nice repeatable pattern that we've got going on here. And the same one here as well. Leave this one here. So right there. Build that across. Like this. And the same down here as well. Like that. And then again with your iron trapdoors going on the side. If you can do this, awesome. And that's going to be in the middle too. You're going to be putting in your iron trapdoors like this. And do a slash give your name and then a debug stick. And what we're going to do with that debug stick is then switch that to close each of these trapdoors like this. Like that there. Do the same on the other side as well. Exactly the same. So that's what I like about repeating patterns. You know, once you once you know what it is, you can just crack on with a lot of these. Like that. There we go. So then you'll end up with that. And then finally, let's go on to the inside part. You're going to be very familiar with this because you just did a load of it. And that's going to be to have your uh, smooth stone. You're going to be building that across to here, like this. And again, it's up to you what you want to put in this. It's just fill of these blocks, wherever the, those ones are. Okay, and then do that. Like so. And then what we're also going to do with this bit is, of course, that's going to be our... Let's grab the stone. I'm just going to plonk down stone for this, but this is where you'll have your stone for your next layer, okay? So that's going to be that layer in there. And I'll finally put in a light, a frog light, and we'll then be done with this. And I'll show you, you know, what we can do, because it's going to just be a, quite a bit of effort to go around all of those. So... Right, let's get the frog light in first. Okay, so frog light, we'll put that in there, right there in the middle, same as we did before. And then what we can do, let's have a look at this. So we're going to copy from, because we need this one to stick out by one, and copy from here. Go from there, and I'm going to go to the top of this floor. Um, yeah, top of the floor here, so that's going to be over here. So for me, like I said, um, we've gotten to this, you know, we've got the bottom floor, we've got this floor here, we've got the floor above it. We're just going to stack, I think, up by two. We'll get it to where we want to go. Yep, so there you go. That's what you're going to end up getting. Things like that. And, you know, feel free to build it in that kind of a, a section. And then all that happens at the end is exactly the same. We're going to bring this over like this. Knock that one off there. Put on your smooth uh, quartz. And then the same thing with the on top bit. Just don't do it on your pillars. So you're not going to have it on your pillars. Like that. There we go. So guys, that is the pattern now that you've got all of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate this 
all the way around uh, this thing, building up those sections. It's the same with, and I actually made a mistake here, the same with this, putting your bamboo planks right here, you know, two of those for your internal um, ones, you know, putting those in for internals. And then, of course, your top floor as well, just put in the stone. You're not going to need anything else for that. Um, you're just going to need those bits of stone. But the pillars are going to be in exactly the same place. So we're still going to have this two gap. And then we're going to have that one and that one there like that. So crack on with that. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next bit. So once you're done with that, you're going to have something that looks a bit like this. You know, you're going to have all of these floors all done out all the way up okay it will take you quite a while uh even with world edit it did take me a little while now just make sure of course for your internal bits that you've got these big two in here you've got these two and you know two pillars in the middle and then a big double wide gap on that that will allow us to uh well do lots of different things with this really it's mostly around making sure we've got enough space here to then drive our cars around the car park we're going to get onto the accessory side of it now, so it's kind of up to you where you want to build these kind of things. Uh, the first one that we're going to be doing is the entrance. So I've got on mine, this is how I built my entrance, so I've got these two different bays that you can then drive into from here, and then you'll, you know, get your ticket. Um, so I'm going to do pay on exit, I guess. Um, <laughs> get your ticket, or, or maybe you've already prepaid and, you know, you do that. This barrier will then rise up, and then you'll be able to drive through. And for us in the UK, we're going around this way. Uh, most of the time, but you can of course because it's a car park they are all over the shop is what I found So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing now So yeah, like I say for me I ended up having that three from the side and that allowed me to have a good little space around here Where when we're going around here to get to the ramp to go up I've also got enough of a space here uh, To go around and you can then you know turn the corner and you can see cars coming into the car park So that's the reason that I've done that so we're gonna do the same thing on this one here but like I say, guys, you can build as many of these as you want. You can do one, you can do two, you can do three, whatever you want, you know, um, as long as you've got a way in. So we're going to count those three, one, two, three, and then it's going to be this next one right here. So it's going to be right down here. I'm going to just remove this area like that. So let's get rid of these bars and do the same on this one as well. Get rid of this bar here because I'm going to do the double entrance like that. And as if by magic, we're all done, of course. So you might need to pause the video to uh, kind of get onto that bit. Um, so what we're going to do from the side first, we're going to go from here. We're going to grab ourselves some polished andesite stairs. We've got a load of different blocks, so I'll go through them as we as we need them. We're going to have stairs from this inner side here. And then what we're going to do when we get to this bit, we're going to wrap these around here and wrap that around there. And then put that onto the side. So this is just a nice little barrier uh, between the space that's going to be here and the actual entrance itself. We don't do that in the middle, but we do it on the other side here. So go around this bit, wrap around, wrap around, and then have that go over to that there, like that. Okay, cool, cool. we can get rid of that one now. So we're gonna get a polished andesite slab now. And what we're gonna do with this slab is again, we're gonna be one back from the middle part of it. And we're gonna just have that going around here like this, and then one at the end here, and then go around on the other side as well, like that. With your polished andesite, we're gonna just fill in the middle part of this, like that there. So then we've got a barrier in the middle for these two as you go in, whether you're you know, coming in from this side or the other side, it's absolutely fine. What we're then gonna do is, if you grab yourself a smooth stone from, um, you know, just go three uh, back from this on this side, and we're gonna have, so there you go, leave three of the slabs, put in a smooth stone, have two of those up like that, smooth stone slab on top, and then with your end uh, stone brick wall, I think we go across with five, so one, two, three, four, five, yeah, that looks good, like that. Stone button, whack that on either side, this is your ticket, no, this isn't your ticket machine, this is your uh, barrier, <laughs> so put those on there. And then what we're actually gonna do is with our uh, diorite, polished diorite, we're gonna have gap in here, put in a uh, block of your, your diorite, put a block of iron on top, put a iron trapdoor on top, then we're going to have a tripwire hook, that'll be where you put in your ticket, like that. Um, there. Then for the other one, all I did is I just staggered it by one, uh, just to make it a little bit different, and that was all I was really doing. So put this in here, put that on the side there, have that there, so now it's not in the central barrier. 
because oh yeah so i should say for the <laughs> when we're in the uk where we would drive on the right hand side so that's why the ticket's on here if you're in the us actually put it on the other side you know flip them the other way around a more sense when it but there we go put that in there and you do the exact same thing here with these and then one two three four and five like that there or flip it the other way um now i did forget the stones on stone buttons on these so let's just whack those on there we go like that um you know feel free to stagger them or have them exactly the same it's totally up to you guys what you want now the only other thing that we need to do for this is i'm going to get myself some yellow carpet um now I'm going to get myself a barrier block as well, so I'm actually going to give myself a barrier block. You could use string if you're in survival, that's absolutely fine. And the other one, which I'm going to grab from here, is the smooth quartz slab. So right onto this bit, we are going to get rid of... That's right, we're actually going to get rid of this right here. And we're going to put in instead slabs going over it. So we're going to build a bit of a bigger entrance. Leave... Ah, uh, no, don't leave that block. Just put in slabs here instead. And just get rid of these. Right to there. And we're going to have the slabs in there. Um, could actually... Yeah, let's do that. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, knock out that middle one there. That looks better. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have barriers underneath this bit. Here, like this. And then put on a yellow carpet. This will be a nice you know like max height kind of line is what we're trying to go for there like that there we go that looks pretty good so that is it for the entrance and for the exit what i did with mine is because we've got this entrance over here i'm going to go around the side to this bit and i had my exit all the way over here so leave two from the side and i'm going to cut this one out right here this is where i had mine so if i show you it on the inside that'll probably help as well so you can see the entrance is over there, literally diagonal from this bit. You, again, you guys, you can put this wherever you want. You know, this is your car park, so, you know, make it fit. Um, it just happened for mine. You know, this this made a lot more sense to have it on a roundabout, so that it actually goes straight onto a little roundabout. Um, we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to knock these back again, just at the top. I've only got a single uh, end exit this time. We've not got double. You could, of course, double up, no problem. Uh, put in your smooth quartz slabs, put in your barrier blocks underneath here, and also your yellow carpet, or use your string, you know, use your string to float these carpets so you can have something like that. And then what I did is, right on the side here, we needed a no, uh, no entry sign, so I went with um, a total of three spruce fence going up, then a red terracotta sign. I also had a mangrove sign, and what I did with this is I just had those vertical bar type things um, that you'll try and find on your keyboard. So I had that as like the no uh, entry bit. And then down the bottom here, I actually put on a warped sign, no entry on those separate lines like that. Now, of course, we want to get some it to glow a little bit. So we're going to get the glow ink sack. And in terms of our dies, I think, and I might be wrong, but we're going to grab ourselves these ones. Let's try it first. So we're going to make that one glow. I want to switch that one to white dye, okay? So put white dye on that one. I think this one may be the same as well. That looks right as well, yeah. So put your glow ink sack and white dye. That's all you need for those two. So to put your no entry sign on there, like that. For the next bit now, I'm going to do the pedestrian exit. So I ended up lining this up with my staircase. I've only got one staircase in mind. You often find, you know, multi-stories have multiple staircases. Uh, it's totally up to you guys. So I had it where, you know, you can see the entrance coming around here. Um, you can just cross and then you can actually be out or or back in and then get up through them So, you know, do position it think about the position of that you want to make it easy to get to um, That will work. So for us where we had that entrance those two entrances there on the side where we had them three from the side We're gonna go right down to this bottom one We're gonna leave two of these and this is where we end up cutting that out leave the iron um, trapdoors and stuff but get rid of these iron bars have this as a nice big entrance you could of course make this a lot smaller if you wanted to that'd be absolutely fine they're usually quite open though um i think it's just a case of well if you can take out these kind of side bits then they just go with that now grab yourself some yellow terracotta and what we're going to do with that is we're going to have a line of it going across this entrance kind of threshold like that there there we go and what we're also going to do, actually, is we're going to have that on the inner part of this. Okay, so I'm saying, saying inner, uh, like that. 
Uh, we're going to go out by one and then go across and then do the same thing like this. Okay. Cross the inner part, go around here like that. Put that in there like that there. Now we're going to do a cross on this. So what we're going to do is from this corner right here, we can go across. And you'll get this little pattern here. I'm just going to go every other one like this until we're done. And then there. Just looking at that going like, oh, it doesn't line up. And I was like, it's never going to line up. Um, so that's what you get for that cross. Grab yourself some uh, bamboo mosaic. Now we're going to put in some disabled spaces. Uh, very important with your car parts. I often see this in Minecraft, people miss them. Uh, we're going to have a double wide barrier. And I'll show you how to do a normal spaces as well. But do have a mix of your disabled spaces and your normal spaces like this. So that's what you're going to have there. Um, you're then going to have a five block amp, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do the same thing around here. So put in these here like that. This just gives us extra space. There we go, like so. So that'll give you that there. So you end up with this five wide. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks going back. So you should be able to fit in a good sized car. Now I used uh, end stone bricks for this. Uh, what we're going to do is two from the wall right here. We're going to have one stair this way. We're going to wrap it around, wrap it around, then wrap it around like that. So you want to have the shorter bit on the top there like that. Underneath, we're going to have one here, one here. And actually that just goes to there. There we go. So that's what you want to end up getting if you're looking at it. Uh, we can make this end one, uh, one of these disabled spaces as well if we want. So that makes it nice and easy. And we do the exact same thing. So again, I mean, the only difference with this one actually is that we've not got a barrier on this side. I just left that, but I made it, you know, as if I was going to do it, do one there. So I have that one there, 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 and there, and then there, there, and there, like that. So that's what you have. If you wanted to, you could put that in. Um, and then you can just repeat that as much as you want, really. Just whenever you've got one of these, you go around like this. And I'm going to show you guys one of the, uh, the kind of like transition to uh, regular spaces as well. So if we have this on here, that would go out as well. Yep, there we go. I did it on that one, didn't do it on this one. So I'm going to have that here, like so. So if you had one right here, again, we're going to do that same shape. So there, there there and these ones here honestly you'll get it uh, once you get it you'll get it um right if you're going to do a, a regular space if you have this as the barrier what you're going to do is you're going to just choose you're going to go with one side i used um smooth court stair for this and you just bring this across here like that um and all you're then going to do is have that on these ones as well like this so you've already got the line here i still leave that one as your bamboo mosaic because it's the border of it and it, look, it looks a lot better. As soon as you switch this over, and, and you know, feel free to play around with this stuff as well. As soon as you switch this over, it, it doesn't look right. That one just suddenly doesn't look right, it all looks off. Um, but if you do the bamboo mosaic on this middle part of it, it looks right, uh, like you've got a proper barrier. But those will be your normal spaces. Notice they come forwards by one. So you can then fit in as many of those as you want, really. So that's gonna be it for your normal spaces, at least on the outside part of it. And I did that just across the sides. I didn't do many, apart from like some of the corner ones, because we've got ramps to do as well as part of this. If we get onto the middle part of it now, so if we have a look down this, we can see, of course, we've got that big double span, single span, double span. We're gonna go right into the middle of this. Um, I actually left this one right here, this first space, as the, because we've got that ramp, ramp on either side. This is going to be um, just our, our kind of like way we can drive through. So you go straight on to the next one. We're going to go in the middle of these again using your smooth court stairs. Now I've already forgotten the direction I've done mine in, but I tried to keep them the same. There we go, that way. We're going to have it going from here. It's going to be a middle line. So you just have to decide which way you go with your middle line. Uh, but then you're going to have these like this. All right. And this is going to go the same. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Count that one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So that's how you end up getting that. So this is why this one's a little bit different. What that does is it means in terms of your driving space, you've got a really large driving space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So same gap. Uh, and also, I've just forgotten it with this one. We're going to, of course, put in one in the middle as well, all the way like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that there. And you end up with these nice spaces of three by nine to go across. 
you're of course going to do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put in your stairs. And then here as well. And then you kind of get it. You know, once you've once you're rolling, you are completely rolling with this. Um, so then that's what you'll do. So yeah, leave these gaps around here. Like think about your roots through. You could have it where you actually have a root through over, say, in the middle instead. You know, that's totally fine. You can have it where you close off certain areas to it uh, and, and change it up. You know, feel free to do that. That is you know, totally up to you guys. So on to the staircase, your way up and down when you're, of course, parked up your car. Uh, grab yourself a block I haven't got for some reason, which is going to be our light grey concrete. What I ended up doing for mine is, like I said, I had this nice entrance here for the pedestrians. I actually used the space which is right here, which is one of the reasons we built it. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is going to leave two of these. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, like that. I'm going to go a total of five across, and that's going to mi max. That's not right. Mix into this, all right, like this. There we go. So we end up with this five by eight box. And it really is going to be a box. So let's build this all the way up. And all you're going to do is do this on each of the floors as well. I'll show you what we do on the top part of it, uh, the roof part of it, once we get to it, okay? There we go. That's what we end up getting. Big concrete <laughs> box. I love these industrial builds for this, but uh, boy, it can be a bit boring, can't it? Um, so there we go. We're going to have this right here and here like that. Now, very luckily, although we've knocked out one of the lights, of course, uh, we'll be all right in a minute. Let's get rid of that bit in the middle. Let's get this here. Yeah, we get a nice little light right next to this one. Um, so what we're going to do as well, we're going to grab yellow terracotta and we're just going to put in a little bit of a cross right here. Very simple. Still keep these lines on the outside. Um, I had the entrance to mine right here. So I'm going to just build up around this a little area for a door. Put that in there. For the door itself, I put in, um, switch out the floor for a uh, bit of stone. Put in an iron door and I had stone pressure plates down here like that. Inside now. What we do is we leave two of these, we'll go to the next one here, we're going to have polished andesite stairs, I wanted a concrete kind of look, and you got three on this side, then you're going to have three blocks of stone, then the next one is going to go one, two, let's get into this, there you go, knocking your way through, three and four, okay, and what we're going to be again on this side is two over, three over so one two three blocks you need i just had to double check for myself so you got one two three four so again knock these out five six seven eight and then go around build your box what is it one two three four five yeah there we go build that around here same thing okay so you can then kind of get this idea here we can knock out these like that there all right now what i did for mine is i had let's knock that out had a frog light down here. I, I just bunged it in. It's a bit boring, but you know, it is there. Now put in our polished andesite stairs. Gonna do the same around here as well, like that. Um, in fact, of mine, I think I even knocked out this whole layer and put in just putting these across the sides because otherwise you'll be able to see those, of course. There we go. Clean all this up. And you're going to have to do quite a bit of cleanup from what I remember with this. There we go. So that's what you're going to end up getting. This kind of a staircase going up. Now that just repeats as high as you want to go. You know, you do the same thing with the door. You put, the in, put that in there. Put your stone pressure plates. Put your stone pressure plate. Um, you're going to have, if we get those stairs again, smooth. And mine, I went this way, didn't I? So we're going to have that there. And we're going to have that there like that. So we're going to do the same thing as well. That, that, that to be a little pattern. Um, and then the only other thing, yeah, putting in a frog light, put that frog light in there. Um, pearlescent frog light is what I used. And then we're going to have iron bars. We're just going to go not that way around. We're going to go up there and connect these in like this. Like that there. And go up to there. Because then, you know, we're going to start the whole thing again with one, two, and I think this one might even be a four instead. It is, yeah. So for your four, do an upside down stair here. 
and then do it from here. I think it's just because it's the bottom floor. It ends up being slightly different. And then you have your three across there, and you do the exact same pattern uh, as you've just done right here like that. It's really, really easy. Once you get going, you'll just keep on going to the top. And finally, guys, when you get to the top, um, now with the iron bars, I actually doubled up on mine uh, to make it a little bit thicker. So do, you know, feel free to do that and have extra bits going in. But yeah, once you get to the top, you're going to have something like this. We can, of course, knock that one out now. And we can also build a bit of a bar across here, connect that in. You'll probably want to go under as well to make it look a little bit more stable like that. Um, from the back, we're going to go up with three uh, of your light grey concrete. One, two, three. One, two, three, like this. Okay. And that's going to go all the way around. We're still going to have that entrance, of course. So you can see I've put in everything apart from that. So there we go. Put those in there. Have your light grey concrete right here. Like this. Go over your door. There we go. And then what we're going to do is with polished andesite slab, we're going to have three of those at the back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Build that across, build that across, build that across. Light grey concrete across, across as well. With your polished andesite, we're going to have three blocks of those now going over. Let's put that over there. Then we're going to have light grey concrete for the next two uh, bits. Not in, the, not in the middle there, though. <laughs> so let's put those there. And then you're going to have finally your polished andesite slabs, okay? So put that in there like that. So you just get, you know, really industrial looking, slight slope. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything. And of course, you can also grab yourself one of those frog lights and plonk that in there. If you want to make it look smooth, which you could do, again, I've just done mine really industrial. Um, you could, if you wanted to, put polished andesite slabs on this bit of roof if you want to have it visually looking like that. Honestly, people are not going to be looking at that this build in that much detail. Um, but that will give you your way up. Um, you can see actually the ways, uh, you know, how I've done the spaces on the top, exactly the same. So, you know, having these on the side. Um, these corners are a bit weird. There's a corner there and there's a corner there. It's very odd. Uh, but actually, before we even get onto any of those little bits, we need to, of course, do the ramp. So onto the ramps. With this one, what I did is very basic uh, kind of ramps. You can get some pretty fancy ones. Uh, we've just got one ramp on one side and one ramp on the other. One is used to go up and the other is to use used to go down. And that is all that is going on. Actually, we need to grab that as well. Um, that's all that's going on with these. You know, it's really simple. It's up to you guys what you want to do. I put these on each end of mine. I'm going to show you how to do one. Uh, what I would recommend doing is then do a 180 turn on the other one. So like I was saying, guys, it all depends on the traffic uh, that your car park goes through. So for mine, I'm directing mine around here. So I'll go around here. You'll be able to get to those spaces, anything like that. Um, this is actually my exit ramp, and then that takes you all the way down there. The reason being that the other ramp comes down this way. And if it does that, you then have to go all the way around here to then exit. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this one to then go around here, and then it will go off into the exit. That's the only difference, that's the only it's the, the only method in my madness is that. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I'm saying. So for, yeah, for me, this is going to be an exit ramp, but it doesn't really matter. But do think about your flow, that's all. So for me, yeah, um, either way, it's going to be exactly the same. We're going to need some stone slabs. So we're going to go across here with stone slabs. That's all we're going to use for the kind of road on this bit. And that's going to be three stone slabs. Then I'm actually going to get a block of stone to make this a little bit faster. Natural blocks, uh, stone, there we go. A little bit faster. We're going to have three stone blocks. And then we're going to go up with slabs. And we're going to have three slabs underneath as well, okay? So we're going to just go up as if we're going up with, you know, by slabs. Uh, but we're going to make it a block thick. So there we go. We're going to have that there. And then we do the same thing again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three keep doing this so it's not not a huge ramp some of them can be quite steep um, ones I really dislike personally uh, is the is the ones that go around like in a loop and they kind of like coil up they're, they're really efficient in terms of space uh, but you always feel like you're gonna end up hitting your car on on the side or something um, especially as cars are getting bigger and bigger so we go keep on going up like this just keep on building our way up to Three, one, two, three, and then three blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Like 
that. You'll notice we're running out of space now. Um, so we're going to cut out the ceiling as well. That's what we need to do for these bits. Let's give this a bit of a trim down. And actually, to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to show you where you need to cut out all of this uh, apart from. So where you've got the either the entrance or the exit, doesn't really matter for this. We're going to go past this nice block that we've got here. And we're going to go to the sides of these things here and just jump out. We're going to leave a whole square at the top here, okay? So this is where we're going to go to. And I'm just going to set that to zero. So you want to have, you know, those going across there. We can then get rid of these nice um, supports, I guess, support frames. I don't know, something like that. Go from there. So that's what you're going to end up having like this. And what you'll notice is they stack nicely when you've got it this many uh, going over, all right? So there we go. Let's continue on then. So, so three of those. Wow, my slabs are all over the place today. It's always good. There you put those in there. You're gonna have your three blocks of stone. And then again with your slabs. We will eventually get to the next floor. It does take a little while though. You know, don't realize how many blocks it actually is for all of these, but there we go, get that there. Three stone, three stone, three stone. Three slabs. Feels like we're very, very close. Three slabs, there we go. And just like that, you see we're one block short, but we're actually not. We're just going to put in a block across here like that. You could also do it with the, um, you know, slab as well if you wanted to, but I like to keep that all the same. So you can see where that starts and where that ends. So what we're going to do now is with our um, uh, light grey concrete, from here we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, then the rest are going to be sixes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we don't bother up here really. Um, with your stone brick wall now, we're going to plonk these in here on top, just to give it a bit more support down to that bit there so that then connects in. Gonna have three polished andesite slabs to kind of like cap it off underneath this ramp as we can see it going up. And like I said, I don't think I did anything with that. I'm totally wrong, I did. So what we're gonna do is knock out these here, put in those there like that, put in your polished andesite there on that bit there, and then it all kind of caps itself off nicely anyway. So yeah, you can then flip that onto the other side as well. Just like I said, do it 180 so that you've got like this circuit going around. So you know, for me, I'd be driving around. I'll go, I'll go into here actually, it'll be a lot e easier to show you. Uh, so this is what you wanna kind of think about is, let's go from the entrance. From the entrance, you know, I'm gonna drive around here, drive around here, drive around here. I know it's a long way to go to find your parking space, but uh, you'll then finally get directed up to here. Go up. And then the way down, you know, we'll go around here. You might finish parking. You'll then go around in this circle uh, or circuit. There we go. You'll find your way down and then drive down your ramp to then finally go and get into that exit over there. Um, as a nice little bonus thing, you know, same with those no entry that we did on the outside. You can, of course, put no entries like this for those exit ramps. You know, feel free to go for that. The other thing, guys, as you stack this, um, which I didn't show you, um, which is it's nice and easy anyway, which is these like pillars that you've then got here. You know, I've just put in the smooth stone in between those for those two, going all the way around here, including on this bit here, there when they when they stack. Uh, when you get past, obviously, the first layer, we're going to have it a bit be a bit exposed to the outside world for this bit. So what we'll do instead is, as you got the ramp. You'll notice on the other side, I've done the same thing where we did those, you know, five and then the six of um, your nice light, light gray uh, concrete. We're going to put that in there and build that up with your stone brick walls uh, until you get up. And it just gives you a little bit more of a gap there like that. Now, what you do for the inside part of this is really easy. So all I've done is put the, you know, we've got these pillars going up. So, uh, yeah, you should already have those. And then just connect in some uh, stone brick wall across all of those there, just until you join into this part here. And for the top floor, just put your stone brick wall all the way around this nice ramp here, like that. 
So we're done for the main part of the tutorial, but there's a couple things I thought I'd show you guys so you got some ideas. So like I said, in the UK, we drive on the left. So we'd be driving on this side. We've just got a little, um, I can't remember what these are called now, but a little way in. And I've just gone with my road, I've just gone two blocks, two blocks of white to do a, a slightly dotted line, but we're not overly dotted. There is a nice P if you want to have one. You will need uh, the debug stick in order to do these corner pits like that and like that there. But you can end up doing a P. If you guys want a separate tutorial on all these like um, arrows and things like that, and signs, let me know and I'll put one together. It's not a problem. Uh, for the arrows themselves, again, using the debug stick, you can see I've gone one, two, three, four, and five. You can wrap that one around, no problem. For this one, you will need a debug stick in order to make that point. But that's where we get two arrows going in. Uh, after we're in, you can see I've got lots more cars in this one. Uh, I'm using it as a kind of area. We've got these two arrows again, same style, to then point you down to here. Once we get around here, you'll see a couple of spaces underneath the ramp. Uh, we'll see another one of those that points you. And another one that points you here. We've got those two no entry signs to say, you know, that's an exit ramp. Don't go uh, up that one. Um, when we go around to here now, we we'll go to there. We've got exit. It's clearly listed. And we get another arrow here like this. Again, you can need debug stick. A lot of these are debug stick ones. Now mine went onto a roundabout. You can see the no stopping area sign there uh, like that. And we've got the no entry as well, very clearly listed. Because as we know, you can just drive around a roundabout and people would probably end up trying that. So that then blocks them from being able to do that. But that's one of the standard ones. Uh, I may do a tutorial on this. Um, and similar with these signs here, we've got it where it's pointing forwards, but also there's a little arrow to the side. So you can continue around if you need to go around like that. And really guys, that is just it. You just follow the arrows. It's all arrowed out to allow you to just, you know, you can continue going up these just loop all the way until you get to the top. Uh, like I said before, there, there's not really a lot in terms of this corner plot. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. I just put in a space instead on these side bits there like that. But guys, I'm very happy to uh, say we're done with this tutorial. Well done for completing it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.